Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Confessions of a Paper Addicts. 25, 20 days of cut files. I keep saying 25 because you can get 25% off in the Confessions of a Paper Addict Etsy shop. The link to that is down below in my description box if you are interested in doing a little bit of shopping. Um, and she's got, I, I think like a thousand cut files over there that you can choose from and they are all amazing. So go and take a look. Um, and see what uh, strikes your fancy. So today's prompt was to uh, use a wreath cut file and I don't know if this counts but in my opinion it does because it's a big circle like a wreath but I chose this train track one to document this uh, train light up yard um, de decor that my parents have. And um, I know it's kind of a funny thing to document maybe, but this photo is from 2007 and my parents still have that. Uh, it's one of my dad's, I think, well, he's never said it, but I think it's one of his favorites because he's a huge train lover. And so I wanted just to document that because grandpa's got his train. Um, there is not usually a lot of room around the bottom of our tree to have like a train around the bottom. And so this is their idea of a train. Um, in the yard and for Christmas. So that's what I'm documenting. And I pulled out this paper, uh, the paper, oh goodness, I'm, I think it's Kaiser Craft paper. And all of the ephemera and such is from the Simple Stories DIY collection. And these are like really big pieces. And so I started out with my photo as a four by six and I trimmed it down to really kind of focus in on the train and then I realized I cut it so small that the ephemera was way too big for the photo that I had left over so here <laughs> I'm just piecing it back together basically until I can reprint the photo and uh, just replace it so um, what I do finally realize is that I could just pull it off of my computer or actually print it from my computer to my selfie. I don't ever print from my computer to my selfie. I usually use my phone and I don't have 2007 photos on my phone, but I had it on my computer or on our server and I was able to just pull it down and print it on the selfie. So you'll see me replace it later. It's gonna be a slight bit smaller than what is here just because uh, the selfie is not quite four by six, but it does the job. And so I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out. And actually, in in my opinion, it's a little clearer in when it was printed on the selfie than it is in um, on this four by six that was printed like either at Shutterfly or Snapfish or one of those kind of things. Probably Shutterfly because that's what I use like 90% of the time. So the big ephemera was um, I was hiding most of it behind or not most of it but half of it behind the photo so I just cut it in half there and so it can span both sides of the photo and I really like how that looks um, that little piece that says Merry Christmas it looks like a snow globe I believe that is cut out from a piece of pink fresh paper it is not a die cut from that same collection or anything um, and it was I know it was definitely cut out from or fussy cut from paper and I believe it was from a pink fresh piece of paper and it goes really well. It's just the red and the green. And then I have this portion of a Polar Express golden ticket. And so I thought I would tuck that in. It's still on its backing. So that yellow por portion will not be there when I finally peel it off. But I'm looking at it just kind of like leaving it there to see what I, if I like it. And then eventually I decide, yep, that placement's good. I'll go ahead and uh, take it off the backing and stick it down onto the paper. And then um, the smaller piece there you saw uh, the smaller piece of holly there I just decided to pop that up onto some foam to give some added dimension and that's going on top of the of the photo there's nothing in that upper right hand corner of the photo that needs to be visible and so I don't mind covering that up a bit um, in fact if I had thought about it I might have zoomed in a little bit more on the train when I reprinted but I didn't think about it at the time uh, the cut file does come with a little train there you can see uh, I did back that with some different papers that I thought went well with the uh, ephemera that I have going on. And so I just tuck that in. I I don't know why I had it facing the, the 
the photo. Um, I definitely could have had it going the other direction, but I really liked it this way. I don't know. It just, it felt more natural this way and you can still tell what it is. And so, uh, that's why it's there. <laughs> and so I have these stars from Coco Vanilla. It's from their Merry and Bright collection, I believe. And I'm just going to kind of scatter those up in this upper right hand side. I was just going to do the upper right hand side to bring the gold across from that Polar Express ticket, but then I decided uh, it needed to have a couple of stars down on the side with the, the ticket as well. And normally I would go for three in each area, but three felt like too many down by this little train with that big gold ticket there. So I just put two and I know working in odd numbers is kind of like the designer's um, creed, maybe. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but working in, in like odd numbers is really pleasing to the eye. But I now have five of those gold stars, so I'm still considering that an odd number. Um, but I really like how it looks, and I think it kind of offsets that that gold ticket really nicely. So here is my new printed one, and I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh, well, I'll just peel this off, and I'll stick it on the same white piece of paper I have a whole stack, hundreds of white pieces of paper. I could just pick another one up and that's eventually what I did. I don't know why I was thinking I'll, I'll just peel it off. Um, I did put my title onto that plastic baggie and onto my ruler because I was thinking I might have to let it sit there until I could go ahead and get the photo printed. But then when I realized, okay, I can just print it on my selfie, duh. Um, I went ahead and, and just go ahead and stick it down because the word train is actually going across the top of the photo. Um, I didn't see that a need for it to be any higher. There's nothing in the photo at the top of the photo there that you need to see. And I really just like the way that it looks. It brings everything down into the photo and kind of brings the focus more into the train rather than being your eye wandering around the photo. Like, what am I looking at? While I get my letters placed, I'll remind you, this is a hop that is going on the first 20 days of December. There are a bunch of people playing along uh, throughout the first 20 days. The list of today's uh, participants is down below in my description box, so go and check them out. I also have included the link to the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group in case you are not a member there. And uh, I, I went back and I think I added it to the prior videos as well, but I don't think I mentioned it in the prior videos that you, they do have, uh, Virginia has a Facebook group and you can go and join that as well and see what kinds of things are going on over there. There's all kinds of inspiration. So go and check that out as well. So I pulled out my uh, 0.6 Arteza white gel pen, and that is my favorite pen to write with on uh, dark backgrounds because it writes really clear and you you don't have to wait for it to dry a long time like some of the other pens do and um, it's it doesn't usually skip and so I really like that and then I just sprinkled a little gold Heidi Swap color shine into the embellishment areas and I'm really happy with the way that this came out I really like it and I hope that you do too if you have questions or comments you can leave those down below for me and I will get back to you as quickly as I can um, it doesn't happen daily, but I do respond and I do read every single comment. So thank you for that. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I would appreciate it. Or the subscri subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another video.